Hello and welcome back to a Kooky Corner of YouTube. Today I'm going to show you something that has changed my way of working. Mm, yes. Well, probably a lot of you know that this is available anyway, but I have had a revelation. <laughs> I'm always looking for ways to combine the things that I do. Um, if you've been here for a while, you know that I do things with stitching. I like to paint, artwork, mixed media, all that kind of jazz. And I'm always looking for ways to combine the things I love to do. And this, this is my game changer. This is Artist Canvas. It's a real cotton canvas, but it's printable. And it goes through your printer. So it's inkjet printable it says compatible with all inkjet printers so i saw this and i thought i'm gonna get me some of that i'm going to grab some and there are two different sizes that i found these are from amazon uh, there's a 10 sheet pack uh, and then there's a 20 sheet pack the 10 sheet packs about 10 pounds or something the 20 sheet packs about 16 pounds so if you think you're going to use a lot 20 sheets if you think you just want to try it out 10 sheets uh, for sure but what this enables me to do and um, this has blown my brain <laughs> is to print off my artwork that I make um, in my sketchbooks or on paper <laughs> or in museums in Norway and um, and then stitch into it yes <laughs> so it's very flexible as you can see it's it's got a coated side and a non-coated side, but it's real cotton canvas. It's not the fake. If you see some of them, it's a fake paper that looks like canvas. This is actual cotton canvas and it's coated on one side and you print on the coated side. And I love it. I absolutely love it. So this means that I can combine my slow stitching with pieces of my artwork and it's, it's just revolutionized all the things I want to do. So I've got so many ideas for this. I want to make some cards. I want to make some little stuffy animals maybe with the printed canvas on them. Who knows what I can do. You can make tote bags and put your picture on the front of them. You know, just stitch this onto the front because it is a cotton. So it's perfect. Now, I know you can do that by ironing on, you can get iron on transfers and stuff, but I just love this so much. I'm really, really impressed. Um, so you can see here that I have printed it off and I have stitched into it. You can see on the back there, there's my stitching. It's really easy to stitch into as well. It's not hard to stitch, uh, to pull your cotton through or anything. I've not finished with this one, by the way, not by any stretch of the imagination, but it's got uh, sequins and beads on there. I can absolutely go to town with stitching this up now and just adding my stitch details into my artwork. I'm really, really, really happy, as you can probably tell. Um, the print comes out really beautifully, as you can see there. It's not cracking at all. It's just wonderful and very vibrant. Uh, I use an HP printer, I presume whatever kind of printer you use is going to be down to, you know, how well it transfers. I print it on the highest quality as well, so you get a chance to do like normal quality or go up to high quality. I print it on the highest quality I can get out of my printer. Um, and yeah, I'm just really super impressed with it. So in order to do this, you have to either print um you know you can put it in the scanner part of your printer and print on your own artwork how i do mine is i i've often taken a picture of mine and then printed it from um, my phone or my ipad straight to the printer and then um yeah just play around with it i'm so happy anyway i have got some pieces that i want to print off and i, I will show you what they look like when they come out. I've got one piece um, that will be coming out on some cards pretty soon, but I want to have a go at adding in some stitching, as you do. So I'm going to print it off now, and then I'll show you 
basically it's, it's just a simple stitching into fabric but I'll show you how easy it is to do. So I've printed out my artwork <laughs> to cheeky little magpie womble um, stickers that will now be able to be stitched onto my jacket. Oh yes! <laughs> I'm so happy. I can't even tell you how happy I am. I can even stitch into the magpies. <sighs> so much, so much I can do with this. Um, gotta do some power scissors and I will cut out my pieces. Uh, I might cut them with a slight border. I can always cut them down again later. It cuts beautifully. It doesn't fray. It's a dream. So, cutting out my little journal piece I did this week. I just wanted to make them into cards but I want to add in some stitching as well because, just because. <laughs> Are you always trying to find ways to combine your things? I, I always get a little thrill when I manage to do, <laughs> when I manage to do a combination of things that I love to do. It's, uh, it is thrilling when I managed to do that. So you could do these at any size, I'll probably cut that size a bit short, that doesn't matter. I'm probably going to cut those white bits off anyway. Uh, and I've got my magpie wombles to play with too. Oh, joys. Right, I'm going to use this thread for stitching at the moment because it's handy and I love it. It's the Marrakesh uh, Aurifil 12, which is 3817, but you can use any threads you like. This is a 12 weight. And um, on the on the other thing that I've done here, I've stitched in with a 16, uh, 16 with an 8, and it's worked perfectly well. You can also add things onto it as well. So, um, just on this one here, I've added in some dimensional paint on top of, so you can work back into it as well, which uh, I'll tell you, I could play forever. <laughs> I usually do. So yeah, let's have a look at the instructions. While I'm, while I'm here and I can see them in front of me, they're the fine art papers, printing instructions. Print on the whiter, slightly chalkier side, or you can see that's that's more of a plain side that it definitely got coating on it so you print on that side make sure you print on the right side I always use the highest resolution always imp important the image dries instantly and can be handled immediately from removing from the printer i find that really cool it's just literally it's there and you're ready you're ready to go should the uh, print appear washed out or not as clear as expected check that the correct side was printed on we've all done it haven't we we've all printed on the wrong side <laughs> i know i have i now got mine off to a t i know which way around most of my papers that go in there need to go <laughs> but yes it uh, it is a thing right so i'm just gonna stitch around this eyeball here just because I can. Look how easy. It's just like stitching through fabric. It's just so nice to stitch through. And you can add in your beads and your decorations and whatever else you like. Um, just because I'm stitching my artwork it doesn't mean to say that you have to uh, be an artist in order to be able to do this no nope. you can stitch anything so say for example you've got some photographs of your uh, pets or your children and you want to add some stitching into it this makes it so easy to do that it's just kind of crazy that i've not picked up on this one before <laughs> uh, but yeah just adding in 
some little elements of stitch into a piece of artwork. I'm going to be playing with this a lot. I've also got some ideas for making some pouches from this because it is a fabric. And so, so, <laughs> no pun intended. Um, I can therefore play around with it and see what we can achieve with it. I am just loving it so far, really. The ease with which the thread goes through is... It's just a pleasure and a dream. I'd, I'm not sure whether I'd hoop it up. It might distort it. I'm not sure about that. I might have to try it with a piece and see how it goes. Um, because of the coating on the front of it, I'm not sure how well, if I wanted to re-iron it, it would work. But for things like this, and oh, it's just joyful. So yeah, if you've got things where you like to combine all your hobbies together. <laughs> because I don't know if you're like me, you have you have a run on something and then you decide you want to do another of the things. I am a bit of a, a project hopper, which is why I always have so, so many on the go. Um, not that I ever really get bored, but it's just a, it's kind of nice just to give yourself, give your brain a little holiday and try a, a new thing. And my magpie brain is going mad with thinking about things that I can do with this fabric now. <laughs> We've I've shown you the printable cotton before, which is also a dream to work with, uh, but for different purposes. This I like for the fact that it's so sturdy and you know, you can literally stitch into it as it is. It's just, there's a stitch in there. You can add extra bits in. So I'm going to get some crosses in here. Just because. Why not? <laughs> I like to let my brain go for a little play and see what it can come up with. And I can take a few of these away with me to play with and a few threads i'm thinking of metallic threads i've got some dmc metallic threads i want to try i know metallic thread is not the easiest um but the uh, diamante grand which is what i use um the dmc version of is really cool to stitch with and doesn't fall apart as much as other metallic threads I've used. I know you mention metallic threads to people and people could cringe and go, oh, I know what that's like to stitch with. And, and it, it can be a difficult customer. But when you find the one that works for you, you know, it's, uh, it's something that you can add in. There's a dimension. Oh, this is so nice to stitch into, I have to say. It, this piece of artwork was just a piece I did and um, it was kind of like a e playing piece, basically. It was me just playing around. Let's see if we can get some French knots in here. Playing around, seeing what you can do. And then, yes, <laughs> that works as well. And so it's the perfect piece for me to play around with the this canvas paper with it's such nice oh yes this is working perfectly I've got a little bit of thread left so let's get some beads on here just because we can Ooh, three of them have fallen out quite handily I don't want to do too many so I've got three bluey greeny ones there. Hope this needle is thin enough for the beads to go through. I'm hoping I've got you in shot. <laughs> oh yeah. And hey hey. Put another one up here. So 
So yeah, you can do family pictures. I'm just thinking for you fit. I know crafters, if you're anything like um, the people that I know, start thinking about their Christmas presents at this time of year. I know it's that C word and we don't mention that, but sometimes if you want to get ahead of the game and do all the things you want to do, then you have to start thinking about that now in July. Some people have already started. Believe you me, some people I know have already started in January. So it is not um, unheard of for people I know to start making. And do you know what? Why not? Because, you know, things take time. So sometimes some people don't quite understand how much time and effort goes into making things. Right. I'm thinking of other things I can add on to here as well. I've got three more of these to play with as well so i can do all different things with them they can be slightly different additions oh my microphone's gone a bit strange hold on there we go right so i've got some of this dimensional paint so i'm going to give it a bit of a shake up and i'm going to add some in this little dots going around You can get some um, dimensional glues that you can use on these as well. So anything that works, I'm going to put a line of dots going down here as well. It truly is mixed media. <laughs> and what else have I got? Oh, yeah, this is another one. This is the abstract Snellier. So let's give this a shot as well hopefully it works sometimes it, it makes sense to grab a piece of paper and try it try it on a piece of paper first just to make sure that it's actually doing what it says it does um, so I'm gonna go you down a bit further so you can see some dotty bits in here because why not you can also use your paint pens add in extra detail marks what have you literally just whatever you can think of you can go on here with so if you are um, a person who's interested in mixed media or doing any of the things that I'm talking about here this is now stitchable onto um some slow stitching so you could do a sheet of like lots of i know people like to include some written elements in their work so you could do a sheet of written elements and cut that up and stitch stitch it in to a slow stitch piece you could make tags for things quite easily um the world is your lobster people the world is your lobster it literally can be whatever you want it to be so that is my little stitched piece and I'm going to continue working on the four that I've printed out and I'm also going to continue let me put that over to one side because those bits do need to dry now pop that over there oh knock the camera I'll take it up too low there we go so I'm going to continue on my crow boy here and add him some more things into his feathers because he deserves to be magnificent. <laughs> All birds deserve to be magnificent, don't you think? So that's going to be my next job. And I'll come back and show you a little bit of what I've done with this at a later date. Um, but for now, I'm just so I, I just had to share this particular thing with you because I know there's a lot of people who are going to be interested in using this paper 
uh, it's not paper it is cloth <laughs> keep saying paper but it is real cotton it actually says it on that real co real cotton it's real cotton and it's not paper although i do like stitching into paper as well but this just feels so nice to stitch into and you're not worried about it ripping or anything like that so yeah grab yourself some printable canvas and see what you can come up with i'm going to be thinking of a whole host of things i can do with this now because it's one of those things where once i get an idea in my head i'm going to be thinking about all the things <laughs> So I'm going to be writing them down and then I will share them with you guys. Obviously, I am not, you know, I'm not going to keep them to myself. I will share them with you and uh, hopefully you can join me on my discovery journey with this beautiful printable canvas. Have a great day. Have a wonderful rest of your week. Happy stitching, happy painting happy all of the things and i will be back here soon with something else bye for now